And on this final day of Women's History Month, we want to introduce you to the women leading the effort to vaccinate the world. The three vaccines being used here in the U.S. have female researchers at the forefront. In our series, Women in the Pandemic, we'll introduce you to those on the front lines of ending the COVID crisis. Nita Patel is trying to help end the pandemic. We are making antibodies. So She's one of the lead vaccine scientists Excellent. at Novavax, a Maryland biotech company currently in the final trials of its COVID vaccine. Her team isn't just led by a woman, it's almost all women. Do you see a difference in the way a team of female scientists work together? They communicate, they get along very well. I never seen them stress out. Patel isn't alone. Women are leading the effort at Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, and Oxford AstraZeneca. And at NIH, so Kizmikia Corbett helped design the Moderna shot. Actually, I was told that I was one of the first people to open a vial of the vaccine. Patel has a theory so as to why women are at the forefront. We have a, a power inside us. We are very goal-oriented, very persistent in achieving that goal. Why do you think science is such a good field for women? Oh, science is fun. You know, there is no boundary. It's un unlimited space. Before the pandemic, the number of women in science and engineering was rising, up 36% over the past decade. But a new study says women in the field aren't immune to the pressures of the pandemic. The crisis is affecting their productivity and mental well-being. Have you personally witnessed, amongst other female scientists, this stress? Yes, the stress and the work-life balance that women really faced a lot in this pandemic, and that made some women leave the work. But Patel hopes there's a silver lining, a new generation inspired to get into science. Women often don't recognize you have incredible strength inside you. It just need a right moment to come out. And I think in science you can do this. And that moment is happening now.